Hey guys, it's Robin from Consistent Life Balance. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So it's the time of the year when I do my detox program, my solid food vacation 2022. And in this video, I would like to show you my protocol. So I was very busy in the last few days and I wasn't able to record a video directly in the beginning. So today is already day three, but I still made the video today and I'm really um, excited for the, the coming time because every single year I take minimum one month of out of the year which I dedicate towards detoxification and I do a protocol which consists out of cyclic water fasting combined with juice feasting and also a, a mucusless diet afterwards so a strategic, strategic uh, refeeding period. So this is my protocol. I always do a little bit fine tuning. I always improve it every single year, but this worked really great for myself. And this is what, what I will also show you today. So we have the protocol. I will go it through with you together. And first of all, I would like to say um, it will be a really intense time for myself because the last um, years it was always a little bit more relaxed in, in regards to work. I could get a little bit time time off, but this time of the year because I'm involved in many different projects, um, also in regards to my coaching and um, I do free speeches in the next weeks, it will be really um, interesting for me to see, to do the ju this juice feast and also the very busy days, how it will all go together and I will keep you guys updated on this. And first of all, before I go into my protocol, I would like to say you, what is my strong why behind this? So as I mentioned, every single year, one month out of the year, this year it's the whole July. I started the first 13th um, of July, June, June, June sorry. And um, so the last day of June, I started and then with, with a water fest, and then on the 1st of July, I started with my juice fest. One day water fasting and then the juice fest. And now I would like to say you what is the, the reason for me to do this every single year. So I believe that I'm already in a good state of health. I have no certain um, illnesses. I have no certain um, conditions which are bad and which you have to do this. But I like to do this because I realize when I do this, year by year that I get to the next level also year by year in regards to my well-being, in regards to my health overall, in regards to my look, in regards to my bowel health because this thing is the most powerful thing so the cyclic water force fasting combined with juice cleansing is in my experience the most powerful thing to heal the whole gut, the, the colon especially and this is um, yeah, a, a strong reason and also because we are in nowadays world, world, world bombarded with all kinds of toxins, heavy metals, environmental um, pollutants, all kinds of bad things and I realize it's a great vacation from food, it's a great um, thing for our body when we don't eat solid food for a certain period of time which when we dedicate um, a period towards yeah, the cleansing, the fasting, and um, I realize not only during this period that I have more productivity, that I have more energy, but also the weeks, the months afterwards, and that I get um, yeah, to the next level every single year. And this is um, my strong why behind it. So in regards to my bowel health, because I also ate some cooked food in the period in between, and also some Sometimes some foods which weren't um, ideal, which weren't perfect, I, I'm not, it's not, it's not bad. I, I, I li liked um, give it certain foods and they didn't really pluck me up, but I still think when I do this solid food vacation that I get um, cleaner and cleaner um, through this. So this is the one, one reason in regards to my bowel health then in regards to my energy productivity. I have so much... Um, capacity in my day to do things when I do the, the juice feast because you don't have any downs. So usually when I eat something I have still lots of energy and I'm, really, I'm feeling really good throughout the day but still there's some um, energy loss when you digest food. It's of course 
especially uh, for me it's the dinner meal that I lose some energy when it's cooked food and when you do the juice feast then you have straight constant energy throughout the day when you reach a certain level because in the beginning you can be very weak when you're not adapted to it when your body is uh, having lots of cleansing reactions but as you continue it will be easier and easier and I found for myself that my body directly switches very quickly so after day three in, in general I'm really in, into it that I'm used to it, that I'm not um, feeling um, any bad things that I only have good energy and I can really use this for great projects which I uh, dedicate my energy towards. Yeah, so far um, to my um, strong reason behind it, my goals, energy, bowel health, I feel that I also look better, my, my, my skin gets better and also I smell <laughs> better when I do this yearly and now we come to the protocol. So I started the last day of June, the 30s, I don't know exactly how it calls, but I started the, the last day of June with a water fast. One day I said to myself minimum, I could also go two to three days, but I decided one day is enough but because I don't have any horrible illness I want to overcome. One day is okay just to reset everything and then I continue with the juices. So after water fast, two weeks of nothing but fresh best juices. So a solid food vacation, the John Morose method. And in this period, I drink only fresh best juices, no pasteurized juices, just the best high quality fruits and vegetables, best organic. And my focus is to um, get as much vegetable juice in and percentage in regards to, um, in comparison to fruit juices. So my vegetable ju uh, juice content should be very high in the fruit juice content as in addition, but they still have to be in there, especially watermelon and some apples. Um, and some cantaloupe melons because in regards when you do it long longer period of time and you don't want to lose muscle and you only drink vegetable juice then um, you won't get enough calories or it you will um, you have to um, press a lot to, to put a lot of work in to get the juice especially um, carrot juice and carrot is like the only vegetable you can drink which gives you good amount of calories and it's just more easier when you do some watermelon juice some cantaloupe juice some apple juice and this is also what I will do but I will uh, mainly um, focus on vegetables with, with some fruits and on some days I will even do a period where I only do vegetable juice and I will also um, include one liter a day minimum of green juice this was really powerful for me and for the green sources I will do romaine lettuce, celery, cucumber all kinds of lettuces, iceberg lettuce also, and um, pak choy. And we also have the, the wild herbs, which are very good here in Germany. We get the dandelion greens, we get um, the stinging nettles, which has 7 grams of protein per 100 milliliter. This is incredible. And this is what I will do. I go directly into nature. I think the best things are uh, in nature. They have a lot more nutrients than the commercial food in the supermarket and this is also what I will do. So I find food quality is very important on a juice fast and you should definitely source the best highest quality things for your body because your body will, will thank you for that. And regarding the fuel sources or so the things which give my body calories I will choose the carrots, the watermelon with rind together. We have peppers, red peppers, red bell pepper we have some apples, we have some grapes if I can get them ripe, maybe, and we also have some pomegranate and some other melons like cantaloupe or the, the peel de sapo melon, which is green outside and inside very sweet. And this, this, this would be my sources for calories, but mainly it will be Watermelon, carrots, and greens. <laughs> this will be for celery, uh, cucumbers, um, but but the, this will be my focus. The other things I mentioned are only just um, at the side. Also, some um, raspberries are possible, but only as a small addition. And what I will also do is when I drink my juices, that I drink enough 
most people they don't drink enough juice. I won't drink just a glass or a half a liter or one liter. I drink enough to sustain my muscle mass. And this is also every single year what I want to, would like to see how good I can maintain my muscle and strength during the solid food vacation. And that is an epic feeling that I have a strategy where I can detoxify, where I can cleanse, but I can also have performance in my everyday life when I can do my, my sports, my strength training and all the energy is there and I always uh, figure out every single year to do it more adequately so that I lose less and less muscle. Of course, it's not possible for me to put on massive amounts of muscle during this juice feast, but I can maintain it and that is also not the focus of this juice fest to build massive amounts of muscle. We can do this afterwards, after having done the detox. And this is also what I do. And I will also, um, regards um, to, to the juices, that I will filter them through a, through a um, sieve so that um, the juices are very clear. That's very important. So don't do juices, uh, don't do smoothies. <laughs> It's a big difference between smoothies and juices. In the smoothies, there's still fiber inside and the juices um, are clear. And th this is very important to get um, your bowels clean, that the juices are also not, um, not fiber anymore inside. And yeah, regarding the amounts, I will go how my body feels, but I know from experience that I myself need minimum four liters, better between five up to seven liters. So I think for myself to cover my needs adequately, if I don't move any, um, this is not much, then I can get away with four to five liters. But as I move and it's daily, <laughs> I'm really active person, I do my strength training, um, then I will definitely need um, six, seven, I even had once um, or twice the last time over eight liters <laughs> last years and it's a lot of work to press it all but it's 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 okay it's worth it and you um, have lots of energy I, I lead, need less sleep during the juice fest a little bit like one or two hours in general if I relax also sometime during the day um, have a 30 minute um, rest period which has shown to be really beneficial for myself at at noon for example and um, what I would also, will also do is intermittent fasting. So I found for myself it's better to drink it in a specific window. So for me, myself, uh, it feels great to have an 8 to 10 hour window when I drink all my juices. And it's okay when it's, it's a little bit longer on the one day and it's a little bit shorter. I don't restrict myself in that regard. But I found out for myself it's not the best idea to drink directly from waking up in the morning to directly going to bed at night because the digestive tract is constantly working, even though it's just juices. And I found out for myself that it's yeah, better when you do it in a window, also for your teeth to regenerate uh, in the time you not consume anything. And, and this is, um, yeah, um, in my experience, um, beneficial and important. And I found I get also better cleansing um, effects when I drink my juices in a specific window. And this is what I do. I juice fast two weeks and then again water fasting. Water fasting one to three days. Um, probably again one day because it's just enough for myself. And then afterwards the, the last sport, the five to seven days of juice feasting. And then the after this, this juice fast, the refeeding period starts, which is seven to 10 days. I like my a little bit longer refeeding period to just go very slowly out of it. I can also do the refeeding period for one month longer, which would be like, um, which would be like um, the mono fruit meals and the vegetable juices. I found out with this protocol, I can definitely sustain myself and I feel incredibly well. And let's see if I stay raw a little longer afterward or if I will uh, get cooked food in again very uh, a little bit um, quicker. But I will. Um, my feeling is that I will um, stick to the raw fo foods for minimum two months after my solid food vacation to just see um, how everything is going. And to recap, I will. I did the water fast in the beginning 
then two weeks of juice fasting, then again a water fast, one to three days, and then five to seven days end spurt of the juice feast, and then I will do the breaking of the fast and the refeeding period. And this is um, yeah regarding my program, the summary. And regarding my juice fast, I would like to add that I will put in my juices daily one to two tablespoons of flaxseed oil. It's important to get adequate omega-3 fatty acids into, into your body during, especially if you do it longer. And the first three days I will completely um, avoid fats. So also today, I am, I'm today on day three. And um, also tomorrow I will probably do no fats at all. I go day by day, but uh, I found out to do some days without fats and for then I will start with the flaxseed oil to get the omega-3 fatty acids in and for women I would recommend hemp oil because the the, um, the ratio is a little bit better in regards to omega-3 to omega-6 and um, but for men I definitely um, recommend flax oil I tr I've tried both for myself and I feel best with flax oil I also tried some coconut oil or some olive oil but I feel that I don't need it during a juice fast. Some coconut oil maybe can help boost a little bit the energy, but the flax oil is contains the essential fatty acids. So coconut, olive is, has not, not anything as essential inside. It's just um, also a source of fuel for your body. And I will also supplement certain things which will be um, iodine through a little bit of kelp. kelp. Kelp powder, you just need a tiny amount um, which I put into my juices. Um, it's yeah, an algae which is very rich in iodine. One to two times a week I will do this. I found out this also enhances my detoxification. And also some selenium I will add in. I found when you don't eat in the juice fast things like nuts, seeds, legumes, which I do before, or you don't eat any um, things with, which contain adequate selenium, then it's wise um, because you only eat fruits and vegetables that you add in a little bit more selenium. I found this works really good also for my clients that they get better results with some small additions of certain things, especially also through the fatty acids. Um, also for the gallbladder to empty itself, it's important to have a small amount of fat when you do a longer um, juice fast. And I also supplement with some zinc. And what I also am, am debating is if I take my creatine during the juice fast because I took it before and uh, it's the most researched um, supplement there is out there. And um, I have found out I have no ben side, side effects. I only have benefits in regards to my performance and I will probably also do it to my juice fast and I will keep you guys updated how this goes with creatine if I contain I can maintain my muscle and strength even better or if I or if it doesn't work at all <laughs> let's see and I, I will also um, use some Sango uh, sea coral powder it's just a coral with uh, magnesium calcium it's not essential but I found out it's, it's also a good addition to my juices and to bump up a little bit of protein is um, one tablespoon of spirulina inside my juices. So this would be the only like solid thing really I have. So one tablespoon would be like so 10 to 20 grams. And um, I will shake it in, in one of my juices, prim primarily in, in the evening. So during the day, especially um, lighter juices, and then in the evening, like more, um, more condensed, it's more, um, heavier juices like um, apple for example with, with more calories and then I also add some spirulina powder and yeah that's it regarding my protocol and I also did an enema in the beginning and I will also keep doing enemas like once a week or once every two weeks I found out this is also a great addition to this detox protocol to empty the colon, to uh, aggressively pull things even stronger inside the colon to get things out. And I found for myself um, a detoxification is a long-term game, so, so you don't get everything out in one um, juice fast. This would be great, but most people, they definitely need more and more juice fans. I always see this with my clients, they need more 
they need a regular detoxification, not just one, because yeah, they have they have put so much toxin, so much bad food over the years inside their body, and they can't expect to get all the toxins, all the waste matter out, out the colon in one single detox program, in one single solid food vacation. But consistency is key, and this is also important what I found out. When you wrote yourself a strict plan, then do it. <laughs> Don't get distracted and do something else. Of course, you can go day by day and adjust certain things, but it's most people, they lack in, in the consistency. They're not able to get it done and yeah, do certain things, and there's also some discipline in it involved, and this is very important. But what has helped me so far very good is to go in, into it with the winner mentality, that we don't say, oh, I, I can't eat now the cake, I can't eat now the, the bread, I can't eat now the cheese, or anything you like. But um, they, they focus on what they are not getting, what they are lacking, but instead you should focus what you're winning for your body, that you're doing a great job, that you're giving your body really the opportunity to cleanse and heal yourself. Because the water fast is not healing your body, the juice feast is not healing your body, all kinds of detox strategies, in my um, experience, they don't really heal your body. It's the body that does, but these strategies, the juice feast, the water fasting, they create the right conditions so your body can use the, the new energy which got, um, which got enhanced through the juice fast because now the digestive system has a rest then it can use for detoxification and self-healing purposes. And this is really powerful and you should concentrate for what you're winning, what you're giving your body, that you're doing such a nice thing for your body and also is an act of self-love. Now regarding my training. So how I will continue with my workouts? And I said to myself, I will continue with the weights and also the intense workouts and I will focus on the compound movements, will um, choose the same weight and I try to ma maintain my strength level, but I will decrease a little bit the volume, I will increase a little bit the frequency See, I train per week, but I will give my best to sustain my performance. And this is what I will do, mainly um, three to four times a week would be Great, in general, in, in usual, before I did always like four to six times a week, depending on how I have time, but three to four times a week should be enough and I will concentrate on whole body training and compound movements like squats, deadlifts, bench press, lat pull downs, but also lots of um, body weight exercises, push-ups, dips, chin-ups, pull-ups, all kinds of uh, exercise with the body, sprints is great, I will focus on that. And yeah, let's see how it goes. And today I look, look a little bit skinnier, I found, because I did a water fasting, I, did, I was very, very active on that day, um, because I will start in a health center in the beginning of July, I started, and uh, also all kinds of things had to do there, the, the furniture, I had to set it and many different projects to allow this to be possible. But now I could make it and I was very active, the water fasting and then the juice fasting. And today, yesterday I only um, got two, four liters in because I didn't have had much time. I, only, I started at 3 p.m. and it was too late <laughs> that I get enough in on, on my first juice fasting day. And it's not bad. It's not. It's not the end of the world. Today I will drink a little bit more. I will give my body more calories and also adjust it in the next few days. I love also the periods. It's also beneficial. The water fasting is like going into a def deficiency, but this is very powerful and can really help you because um, your body gets more efficient through going into certain deficiencies and certain lack uh, of foods. Yeah, because your body adjusts to it in a. In, in a way that it gets stronger and stronger. But I found out it's, it needs always like three to four days to really go get into it. And in the first um, days, so today, yesterday, and in the beginning, um, not very much, but yesterday and today, I felt a little bit uh, the feeling of the lack. 
but um, that's normal and your body just gets used to it and um, the next days I won't feel it because I um, give, gave, gave my body the, the right amounts. And regarding breaking the fast and my refeeding strategy, I won't go too deep in this video. There will be um, other videos about this when I continue with this process. I'm really excited for the coming time. I will keep you guys updated on everything. Also check out my Instagram. I will do regular stories about my process. Then you can um, see on day by day how it all goes. And if you're interested to do a solid food vacation, a detox program this year yourself, and you are yeah, planning to do it in the right way, you want to get the maximum benefits out of it, but you don't know exactly how to do it, you're lacking the plan, then reach out to me. I would be happy to support you on your way. We can do a 60 minute consultation session when you, where we create yourself the perfect plan that you get great results from it. Just contact me through the mail or through Instagram and then we can do the consultation uh, meeting, the appointment together. And I would like to say thank you for watching the video. I would be happy if you give it a like. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel to see more stuff like this. And I wish you all an amazing day. See you soon. Bye.